This lesson is problems involving combined percent. Betty Boot has been watching the flyers to see when the shoes she wants come on sale. They are originally priced at $180. One store, Sneers, offers a 30% discount, while another store, Stallmart, has offered a 10% rollback on three different occasions. Which store offers the best deal? And what is the total cost of the shoes after taxes? Write down your prediction as to which store offers the better price and your reasons why. Then see if your answer matches the answer at the end of the video. Firstly, in this problem there's an awful lot of information, so we need to organize it. We'll draw two columns, each column representing the two stores involved. The original cost of the shoes was $180. At Sneers, the discount was 30%. At Stallmart, there were three separate discounts of 10% each. At Sneers, with a discount of 30%, that means we are still going to be paying 70% of the cost, 100 minus 30. Now on the Stallmart side, with a discount of three 10%, that means we are still paying 90% of the cost. So we'll pay 90% three different times. The taxes for both stores will be the same, 7% GST and 5% PST, giving us a total of 12% in taxes. That will add to the cost, so that'll increase 12%. Now let's calculate the cost of the shoes. For Sneers, the cost after the 30% discount means we're paying 70% of 180. We'll use our equivalent fraction percent over 100 equals is over of, substitute in our values, and solve. So we come up with $126 after the 30% discount. Now we need to include the taxes, so that will increase the cost by 12%. So 112% of $126, use our equivalent fractions, substitute, and solve. So we'll come up with a cost of $141.12 for the cost of the shoes. Now let's go to Stallmart. So the cost after a 10% discount means we're still paying 90%. So 90% 90 of 180, substitute in our values, solve, and we get $162. But remember, we have to do this two more times. So we'll take 90% of 162 and come up with $145.80. And then we'll take 90% of $145.80 and come up with $131.22 after all the discounts. Now we need to include the cost of the taxes. So taxes will be the same as it was with the other store. So we'll take 112%, meaning that the cost will go up by 12%, substitute in our values, and calculate the final cost of the shoes. So these shoes will cost $146.97. So Sneers has the better price. What I'd like you to do is go through this problem again for one or both stores and calculate the discounts and taxes separately. Then subtract the discounts from the original cost and add the taxes and see if you come up with the same answers. Also, think about whether or not it matters whether you calculate the discount first, then the taxes, or calculate the taxes first, then the discount. There's lots of good questions that come out of these sort of problems.